Hey guys, welcome back to the Backyard Chicken Chronicles. Uh, I wanted to show you all the week old um, baby lambs that my um, neighbor's sheep had. They're just so adorable. Oh my goodness. They're cute little tails. Oh, the dog scared them. Oh, plus mama's not real used to um, people. It's okay, like a oh my goodness and then they have they have chickens too i think that one little brownish one there is a is an easter egger if i'm not mistaken it's got the cutest little chubby cheeks oh my gosh i want one it's absolutely adorable and there's mama nursing her babies it's okay Laika. she's all on guard it's okay, Mama. Well, I um, raked up the compost pile. Um, the other day I had um, I raked up um, the entire yard. It was getting pretty thick with um, chicken manure. And the uh, grass is starting to come back in. I um, don't know if you can see it on, um, from the recording, but um, when I look out, I mean, there's definitely a tinge of green in here finally, which is very nice. And so I wanted to get all of the uh, excess hay or straw and um, all the manure uh, raked up and, and over into the compost pile. Our compost pile is uh, really picking up steam there again. And I, uh, so I, uh, I actually raked that all into a pile yesterday. And this morning it was spread out the entire you know all of that area you see wet wasn't just laid flat um, with the straw um, so I uh, I went ahead and wet it down while it was all out so I could get you know down to the bottom of it and then raked it up in sections watering it down as I went to uh, hopefully to start the uh, decomposition needs to be damp I guess I don't, I've never done a compost pile before, so I, we don't we don't do a lot of cooking, <laughs> and um, so we don't have like a lot of kitchen scraps and stuff. For the, so for the most part, this is just chicken manure and the the excess straw from you know me cleaning out the uh, the coop and the the yard area, and uh, we'll see how long it um, stays like that, but. Uh, the girls generally make quick work of it and I think they're they're not on it right now because they don't want to get their feet wet my, my one Brahma not uh, not not bonnet but the other one with a little bit lower tail that's uh, with her she's facing away from me preening her feathers right now she um, she's really getting ready to lay her you know probably be uh, Oh, not very long. She uh, actually coming up to me and uh, doing the uh, the squatting behavior uh, for me to uh, pet her back and the base of her tail um, because I think they think I'm their rooster. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, she's uh, she's been in the nest box off and on all week. I uh, know it's only Thursday, but all week. So I'm really anticipating her um, laying uh, by the weekend or at the beginning of next week at the latest. Uh, that's the, uh, they're just adorable. My goodness. Anyway, I have now, um, it, it looks like we're not going to have to buy uh, store-bought eggs anymore. Right now I have nine eggs in the refrigerator and uh, we've been saving um, egg cartons for quite a while now. Um, and I'm hoping that when they all come online and are producing fairly regularly, that we'll have an excess enough uh, to be able to take to um, church and donate to our community pantry or to anybody in the body of our church that may have a need or desire that's what we want to do our first full dozen of eggs now granite they're different colors different sizes um, but and we have eaten six 
So with this 12 plus 6, um, we're starting to get production going. Um, only three of the six hands are laying. Um, and I know it, one more is ready to lay. I expect an egg from her any day. Um, it's the one of the Brahmas. And she should be... I'm really expecting her to come online here um, by the beginning of next week at the latest. So, yeah, it's coming right along. I'm really happy. Yay. Eggs. <laughs>